Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans. We are at home today and we are going to install a little library, one of those little mini libraries. Uh, I looked all over online for directions. And Okay, so anyway, uh, they le uh, as I was looking up videos to install it, they show you how to build the mini library, but they leave out all the, the dirty parts. So like all the prep work and digging the post and things like that. So I am going to, uh, I'm gonna be showing you the whole kit and caboodle from beginning to end, okay? So step one, especially in the state of Illinois, I don't know what the, other states requirements are but I'm pretty sure they're pretty much all the same we have to call this place called Julie uh, and it is a organization that makes sure that you're not when you dig you're not going into power lines and gas lines and phone lines and all that kind of stuff so uh, that's where we started so we called Julie Julie will be out within the next I think it was 72 hours. Um, so today is Friday, and they'll be out between now and 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do for Julie is to mark in white paint on the ground where we want to put the post for our little library. So let's do that now. So you can use spray paint or anything you'd like. Uh, we have uh, some extra house paint here. So I'm just gonna mark the area here where, uh, where we're putting it. And this thing's got a pretty wide base. So... And it's four by four. And it's four by four, so we're gonna... I'm just gonna put a... So I think that's what we're gonna do right there. And uh, they will come by within between now and Tuesday, Friday and Tuesday, and they will mark it with flags where we can dig and we can't dig. So if there happens to be something right here, we will uh, we'll have to relocate <laughs> it. Luckily, it's just the library. And yeah. That. Okay, so the last time we left you, we were waiting on, we had to call Julie, which is our uh, local company to tell us where buried cables are and things like that. And we had to wait on like six companies. Yeah. So they have come, uh, we uh, painted our square and this is what we get. So they tell us where everything is buried. So um, this is like, buried Comcast cable. We got gas line here. We are pretty darn close uh, to that. But here's where the flag sits. So our gas line sits here. Our AT&T or at and cables. Uh, Comcast, which is a cable company. And ComEd, which is uh, our electric companies. All their cables go there. So it's pretty darn close. So that must be the city there. Yeah, this is the city over water, here. And uh, the water line and the, uh, and, and the sewage line go here. So we're going to move this over just a little bit. To so here. yeah, to <laughs> there. So just to be 100% sure that we are you clear. Know, clear from there. Also, we just want to let you know today is a glorious day. It's been four days uh, since we talked to you last when we had to call Julie um, for the... Uh, for the underground stuff today it is 75 degrees in chicagoland so perfect day to work outdoor in in our yard uh, since the quarantine is still going on uh, and the shelter in place you'll also need a post hole digger i suppose you could do it by hand but you know <laughs> that's a lot of work and we're gonna have to go 22 inches deep the light the thing i like about this post hole digger is comes with a measurement uh, 
ruler on it. So we're gonna go 22 inches deep. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna dig um, like right around here since we do know where the lines are, where, the, where everything's buried. So we know we're not gonna hit anything over here, okay? So with that being said, we're gonna start right here and we'll start our hole. Easier said than done. <laughs> Man, this ground is hard. What you got there, Matt? I got an auger. Why? Our little project has turned into a very big project. It turns out, if you turn around, you see that tree right there? It has some very, very stubborn roots. Can you see it right there? the funniest shit I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> Becky said we couldn't film because I was swearing too much, <laughs> okay? Swearing a lot. We had the auger uh, and uh, it was rented for only four hours from Home Depot. I dug the hole, the auger got stuck, okay? And it did not come with a reverse switch, so you can't just reverse it out. I had to take it apart and unscrew it by hand with a pipe wrench. That took quite a while. I made it back to Home Depot with one minute to spare on my four hours. So it was back due by 4.48 and I got it there at 4.47. So this morning okay. we woke up with sore backs and sore muscles. Oh my God. There's the hole that took quite a bit to do in. See that big root right there? Right there, that was the problem. That was the root of our existence. That was the, the root of our of the evil. <laughs> a lot of cicadas down there too. Emerson freaked out. It was funny. So what you're gonna need is a four by four by four uh, post to put in. We bought a solid oak post that's been treated. Okay. Post so. to go in. Post. Post Malone. Post goes in the hood. We'll make sure that everything fits the way it's supposed to fit. Look. That. 
looks good. So we just have to fill in around the post um, to make sure that the post is nice and straight and secure. You put on your old shoes today? I did. <laughs> so we're just basically kicking some dirt down in here just to make sure that the pole is secure and get a lot of this dirt off of our grass. <laughs> Well, we're replacing dirt. We're replacing it, yes, exactly. And Oscar won't be so mad at us. All right. <laughs> Oscar is our lawn guy. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is nice. That is solid. That's tight. That is nice and tight. Excellent. That is awesome. All right. We filled in the hole. Yep. And the library sits right on there. Yep. This little piece right here will wind up going on the front. Okay. And we're going to drill that in there into but the post. We have to come around back here, Beck. We have to put these two bad boys in there. Cool. Highly recommend using a quarter inch drill bit. Get this thing started here. So, just so you know, Matt is barely handy. He is more artistic. Man, he's that guy, but barely handy. Yeah, I, you know, I. So if he can kind of figure this out, <laughs> then anybody can. Yeah, it's pretty much mat proof. Turn on the drill. Now I just had to get it off the safety. Watch your front thumb. Okay, now to secure it, uh, it comes with this hex bolt right here. So you will need a, a, a crescent wrench um, uh, with a half inch bit on there, or a half inch driver, I'm sorry. Let's get this Let me, uh, started here. Go. Okay, so now we've got these in the hole, and now we just have to secure them nice and tight. Uh, okay, nice and secure. Now we'll do the bottom one as well. Okay, so hold on. Bottom one, nice and tight. Make sure this one is tight again. Okay, everything is looking good and nice and sturdy. Okay, this also comes with uh, six screws. Uh, two of the screws are going to hold the front of this on, and then the other two screws will actually be worked on the library. Okay, so. Put our front. Look, look at that. On. Uh, uh, look at that. Yeah, you'll need a Phillips uh, head uh, tip. Drop them off. off. <laughs> so. Now we've got our front on and secured, and now it's time to actually build the library. The book storing part. Yes. I have to say that this is going a little smoother. I hate to knock on wood. Knock on that tree. No, your, your head's wood. <laughs> knock on wood. This is going a little smoother than yesterday. The door to the library. 
you will put that part right there and then close it. It actually has a magnet on this side and that side and the magnet's already installed for you. See, they do make it easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, the library part is the easy part. It was the post. Yeah. It was the digging of the post. Becky wanted the library facing the sidewalk. And if you come here, I didn't check the hole over here, or I actually really didn't know what it was for. Or the sign. So, or the sign on the front here. And that is for this. There. So. It's backwards, it's, but that it's doesn't backwards. matter. So I'm not taking this thing all apart and redrilling everything. Um, so it's going in this way. So people will see the, the books from the street. That's okay. And that's okay. And if when people want to go to the library, they just got to walk on our grass. We're going to put one of those. Um, Maybe we can put some stepping stones around we'll put, we, we got that big stepping stone we're going to put right in front of it. There we go. All right. So. <laughs> measure twice. <laughs> and then do it once. Okay, so. There is the library itself. Now we just have to attach this to the base. It's not only that there's a lot of traffic around our area, it's every other car has to sound like ring, baby. <laughs> <laughs> or there's a lot of motorcycles. Yeah, we got a lot of motorcycles around here too. There are four screw holes, two on each side, two on this side, two on that side. And then the remainder of the four screws go in there and that will secure the library to the post itself. Honestly, you should be on HGTV. I should. <laughs> Mess it up with Matt. That is a great name for my show. <laughs> Mess it up with Matt. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? Oh my gosh, it's done. We just okay. gotta put the books in it. So let's go over the steps one more time. Number one. <laughs> Call Julie, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Call Julie and, uh, or whoever your uh, uh, provider is that will let you know where all the lines are, gas lines, electric, uh, cable, all that good stuff, okay? Number two, you have to dig the post, okay? This does not give you any instructions on any of that. And okay? you have to buy a post. You have to buy the it post. Does that come with it? Four by four by four dig the hole if you run into problems like we did with roots and different things like that the post digger is not going to cut the cut the mustard uh, you're gonna wind up having to either rent or buy an auger okay be sure to buy one with a reverse <laughs> on it so you don't get your auger stuck okay the rest of it is very 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 simple uh, it did work out very well for us today. Yes, so this, uh, the whole last part took us what, 10 minutes? Well, maybe 20. Maybe, maybe 20, with all the drilling of the holes and different things. Like that. Well, we put the post in. Yeah. Okay, that's why. But the actual building of the library itself took 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right. So, uh, with all that said and done, and this is waterproof. Yep. So that Weatherproof. Is, that is, we live in a northern. Yeah, we. Uh, life in the northern town. Right. And uh, so, uh, so be sure you get a waterproof one. Hey, uh, man. But this is pretty darn cool. I'm liking it. So let's put some books in it, and we'll uh, uh, show you the final uh, product with books in it. Okay. Okay. All right, Becky and Vivian. Hi, Viv. Hello. Uh, they're going to go ahead and uh, stock up the library here. We're not sure if all these books I don't think fit. all those will fit, but, you know. But each book I put a little sticker in. 
Uh huh. That says, maybe I'll show you. A little Facebook page that I created. Facebook me at Becky's Little Library. So if you guys want to go on uh, Facebook and uh, friend Becky's Little Library, go for it. Room for that last one last book we do. Yes. Awesome. And also, just to let you know, uh, close the door, Beck. There is a sticker, um, and it goes right here. But they sent two. They they have one that just says "My Little Library" or something like that, and then there is another one that said that's blank, so you can write your own with permanent marker. And I believe that's what Becky's going to do. Correct? Yeah, I think so. All right. So there it is. Oh, our uh, our new little library. Okay, so that was our instructions on My Little Library. The actual library itself, the Simplay, is it, is it called? Simplay 3, I would give it five stars. I like loved it. Five I love out it. Of five. Look at how cute it is. Now, the only thing that I wouldn't give it five out of five stars is all the missing information as far as installing it. They have, they give you no clue that there was going to be digging and posts and all that kind of stuff. So all they do is tell you how to build this part. So that would be a two out of five, but the actual library itself, five out of five. Okay. So highly recommend it. Uh, it's a very, it seems to be a very good product. Sturdy. It is very sturdy. Uh, this thing is not going anywhere anytime soon. And so. it has, and it has a lot of book. It, it's got a yeah, lot of capacity in it. Yeah, it does. So let's hope the neighborhood gets a thrill out of it. Yeah. So, and what we're going to do, we're going to clean up this area down here on the ground. Um, if you, you want to show down here on the ground back. Uh, we're going to clean all this area up and we're going to put stepping stones. Yeah, because we got it. some in the back that we're so not we using anymore. Down, yeah, we got some in the back that aren't being used anymore and because uh, we did a backyard project a while back. So uh, we'll put those around here so people don't have to actually walk on the grass. So, as always, if you liked what you saw today, please give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys next time on Where the Heck Are the Albans? Bye, everyone. <laughs>